Hertha Berlin and Union Berlin will meet for the first time ever in the Bundesliga this season. Two proud clubs, different in many ways, but united by a fierce footballing passion and, surprisingly, a rivalry marked at times by friendship. Indeed, while a fierce rivalry exists between the two teams, the fall of the Berlin Wall in 1989 saw thousands of Union fans make the journey to watch Hertha play SG Wattenscheid on November the 11th. This act of solidarity gave rise to the first fixture played between the two teams. A friendly match on January the 27th, 1990, just 79 days after the fall of the wall. Almost 52,000 spectators crammed into the Olympiastadion to see Hertha beat Union 2-1. Der Tagesspiegel wrote at the time, at the Berlin Football Family Festival there was not the slightest hint of differing views, and excitement and joy prevailed on all sides. The fan culture has continued to be of huge importance. While Union are known for their punk spirit and raucous anthem, Eisen Union, sung by Nina Hagen, and their fans' efforts to keep the club afloat in financial straits, Hertha's Ostkurve fan displays are among the Bundesliga's most vibrant. The first Bundesliga derby between these sides will be an incredible spectacle. While never having won the Bundesliga, it's fair to say that Hertha belong in the German footballing aristocracy. Founded in 1892 and founder members of the German Football Association in 1900, Hertha were also founder members of the Bundesliga in 1963, elected as reigning champions of the Berlin regional competition in the previous season. The club, based in the wealthy Charlottenburg district, might have working-class origins, but their grand stadium, the Olympiastadion, and a more prestigious history mark them out as Berlin's wealthier, more successful team. In contrast, Union Berlin only achieved promotion to the Bundesliga for the first time in their history at the end of the 2018-19 season, with a two-legged playoff win against Stuttgart. While Union Berlin are the first club from the former East Germany to make it to the Bundesliga since RB Leipzig in 2016, their history is marked by struggles more than success. Union can trace their origins back to 1906, when the club was founded as FC Olympia Oberschöneweide. After a number of different names, they finally became the Union Berlin of today in 1966, but they've played at the intimate Stadion an der Alten Försterei since 1920, a marked contrast to Hertha's occupancy of the huge, imposing Olympiastadion. Union's ground sits in the middle of a forest and was famously renovated by some 2,500 volunteer fans in 2008, as the club had insufficient funds to do the work themselves. Neither club has had it easy, though. A relegation and various difficulties, in part brought on by the partition of Berlin in 1961, meant that the 1960s were a tough period for Hertha. The 70s, though, brought a second-place finish in the top tier behind Borussia Mönchengladbach in 1974-75. Hertha also reached a semi-final in the UEFA Cup in 78-79, losing to Red Star Belgrade on away goals, and also reached two DFP Pokal finals in 77 and 79. But the 80s and 90s saw relegation to the Bundesliga too, and despite also playing in the Bundesliga in the 82-83 season, Hertha even dropped as far as the third tier in 86, before turning back to the Bundesliga 2 in 1988. Indeed, Hertha's history has been one of ups and downs, promotions and European appearances, followed by relegations. And without those relegations, the Berlin derby would not even have occurred competitively until now. Indeed, prior to 2010-11, Berlin's two main teams had never met in a competitive match. Only FSV Frankfurt and Eintracht Frankfurt had gone longer without a derby, until their 48-year wait was also to end the same season. Union Berlin had themselves largely struggled in the lower reaches of the German footballing pyramid before 2010. They topped the Regionalliga in 93 and 94, but couldn't afford to enter the Bundesliga 2. But finally, in 2000-2001, they won promotion. Even more impressively, they beat VfL Bochum and Borussia Mönchengladbach on a run to their first DFB Pokal final. They lost, but their appearance in the final nevertheless saw them qualify for the first round of the UEFA Cup. They beat Finnish champions FC Hacker 4-1 on aggregate before being knocked out in the next round. Union were nonetheless relegated from the Bundesliga 2 in 2004 after two top-half finishes and, against a backdrop of financial instability, lifelong Union fan and successful businessman Dirk Singler took over the club. Funds were raised through a blood donation drive. In Germany, donors are paid, and the Bleed for Union campaign kept the club solvent. However, another relegation followed, and so four years on from UEFA Cup competition, Union were in the semi-professional fourth tier of German football. 
Union bounced straight back though, and they were promoted again to the Bundesliga 2 in 2010. And this set up the first of four competitive Berlin derbies in three seasons. Indeed, when Hertha and Union were both in the second tier, Berlin was the largest city in Europe without a top-flight football side. In 2010-11, Union took bragging rights with a 1-1 draw at home and a 2-1 win away, with goals from Jean Mosquera and Torsten Machuska. Two seasons later, after Hertha's yo-yo up to the Bundesliga and back, they won 2-1 away, Sandro Wagner and Ronnie getting the goals, before a hard-fought 2-2 draw at the Olympiastadion. Simon Terode and Adam Neric put the visitors up 2-0, before Adrian Ramos and Ronnie secured the draw. Union spent the next seven seasons in the Bundesliga 2 in mid-table, before starting to look like a credible promotion outfit in 2016-17. And this presaged the success of 2018-19, while Hertha again established themselves in the top flight and haven't been out of it since winning promotion in that 2012-13 season. Hertha Berlin's strong recent form means they will feel they can push for a European place again this season, while Union Berlin will want to build on some good results so far to secure their place in the Bundesliga. And so, these two clubs, rivals who've barely ever played, will mark an historic moment when they take to the pitch at the Stadion an der Elten Försterei, the Bundesliga's first ever Berlin derby. Hello? Yes, you. Where are you going? The Bundesliga on YouTube. Subscribe now. <laughs> Football as it's meant to be.